Hello everyone. Today I am bringing you Tosca interview questions series based on scenario based or real time interview questions. I got a lot of requests for this. So let's get started. I'm going to cover probably one question at a time and I'll make an entire series on this. So the first question could be asked is how do you create a workspace in Tosca? Okay, so let's get into this. So first we need to launch Tosca commander. Okay. And after launching Tosca commander, we'll get the basic view. So I'm going to explain everything around this. Let, let this get loaded. Okay, so you'll see a UI something like this. For us to create a workspace, if a workspace is already there, then we can click on open and then select whichever uh, uh, workspace we want to work with. Now, in case we want to create a new one, we'll click on create new. Okay, so first and foremost, you will have two different options. You can create a single user workspace or you can create a multi user workspace. So if you're creating a single user workspace, you don't need not select any of the mentioned repositories to be used. Okay, now there could be a chance. So single user workspace is pretty easy here, uh, whatever the path is given and then you select the name for the workspace. So let's say I'll write workspace only here and here you will get the option to use workspace template. You should always select this option. So this is by default going to import the standard subset of uh, Tosca commander. Okay. Now you will not see this option create slim workspace in case of single user workspace. So you just click on OK and your workspace creation gets started. Okay. It will take a couple of minutes probably or less than that and it will create your new workspace. So let, let this get loaded. Okay, so our workspace is loaded. Now let me close this project, close. And here you'll be able to see the name of the workspace which we have used while creation is existing. Now we can perform whatever workspace is created here. Now we can perform whatever operations we want inside this workspace, okay. Now this is about the single user workspace. In case of multi-user workspace, which is primarily used in uh, all the big MNCs wherever we are creating the project, okay. So there, instead of selecting this particular option, I'll click on this drop down. Now with whatever kind of uh, repository server you have created, you'll select that option. Most predominantly MS SQL server is used, but you can use either of these options. So if I click on this, now you'll see the options have changed. Okay. Now, first of all, you would need a connection string that would contain the DB details and all. Okay. Now, here, if, if I click on the question mark, it will be something like this particular format. So whatever is server name, database, user ID and password that needs to be mentioned here. Once you have entered this, you click on test connection. Okay. If this particular connection string is valid, then it is going to give you that this particular connection string is valid. Okay. Since I, I don't have it set up, that's why this connection could not be established. Okay. Now here as well, uh, you will get the options and you can select whatever is accordingly here. Okay. Now. If I show this here, you can always select a name for a new workspace and ideally when you're working in a multi-user rep repository, you all should follow a similar naming convention. However, it could be different as well. Okay. Now here we do not get this option of using the workspace template because the workspace is already existing and initially when this workspace is created using the connection string, the standard subset have already been populated. So we do not get this option. Let's say you're doing it the first time. You can obviously uh, go to support portal, download the standard subset and then import it. And that will be available for all the users whoever are working on the multi-user repository. Here we have the option to create slim workspace. So as the, uh, uh, if you hover over this, you see that if checked objects with high data volume will not be transferred from the common repository in order to speed up. Okay. So if I click on this, the load on my Tosca commander is going to be comparatively lesser in even if, if I'm not using this particular option. Okay. Now you fill in all these fields and you click on OK. Depending on the type of uh, the size of your repository, it is going to take that much time to create the workspace. Okay. This could be asked as one of the basic interview questions. Now that's pretty much it around the workspace creation. In case you like my content, do like, share and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.